are currently in the Castillo de los Templares, the castle of the Knights Templar. It is a important site in Ponferrada, here in Spain. We've been looking around, and aside from the part that is closed, we have enjoyed what we've seen. The name Ponferrada actually means Iron Bridge, and I believe this castle was meant to uh, protect the Iron Bridge. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm picking up bits and fragments of history here as, as we go, but that might not be 100% accurate. So I promised an update on the uh, the work away that we did. So I will provide that work away. I gave I've, I have mentioned this before, but more specifically, what a work away is. Workaway.info is a website. They also have a mobile app, and the purpose is to connect uh, hosts, which are not companies. These are usually individuals or maybe small communalish organizations, like kind of informal organizations. Um, it can also be families, for example, a lot of families actually are hosts. And, um, and then there's workawayers like us, and the, the workawayers hypothetically are willing and able to come to these hosts and provide labor. And so the website Workaway basically connects hosts to workawayers. So we connected with a host named Eric. We went from Ordense to where Eric was. Uh, it, we took a train to a town called Os Peares and I met Eric there. Eric actually lived a little further from Los Beares, though. We actually had to walk about 50 minutes uphill. Uh, funny enough, his car actually broke down when he came to pick us up, and this is something that Eric said he'd been anticipating would happen for quite some time. So he basically decided right then and there that he was gonna scrap the car, <laughs> and then we walked 50 minutes uphill. Thankfully, we traveled fairly light and arrived to his place. It's a very beautiful place. There's a, I mean, it's it's a nice, homely place, and then there's also a lot of beautiful scenery there. It's up in the mountains, and the mountains there were were absolutely beautiful. So that's a site that I don't think we ever, we ever really get tired of. So Eric is growing his own food there. He's got this not totally self-sufficient lifestyle, but it's it's fairly independent. He's semi-self-sufficient. Technically sufficient. Self-sufficient is a binary category. You either are or you aren't. So yeah. he's not truly self-sufficient, but he is growing a lot of his own food there, which is good. Yeah, so he's growing, you know, peppers, melons, tomatoes, strawberries, leeks, beets. And, of course, he's got the chickens, which I don't think he eats them, but he collects the eggs from them. Uh, I'm not really sure what he does with them later, but uh, no evidence to suggest that he eats those particular chickens, although he does eat chicken. So what did we do over there? Well, the, the daily routine basically was to wake up at about 11 o'clock, and uh, there's a reason we, we woke up so late for this, uh, but we woke up at about 11 o'clock and would usually just help ourselves to breakfast right away. Eric didn't really do much in the way of breakfast, so we would eat like cereal or fruit, some combination, something like that. And usually be done and ready to work by about 12 o'clock. We'd work for about five hours. The type of work we did, got some, some B-roll here for you. Um, we helped reinforce the chicken coop because there was one particularly bombastic bird that kept trying to escape from from the coop. I kept flying into these little holes and, and getting out. So we were reinforcing that by weaving through little vines that would that would prevent that. We put up some netting for the ceiling in a basement. Eric's working on converting that into additional living space. We did some terracing. We helped flatten out some land, uh, redistribute it, break it up so that he can install more beds for food in the future there. We helped clear out some brush, would you call it? Some, some, some wooded area. I think that's about the extent of the work that we did. After our work, we usually would come back inside. Usually we would have some sort of snack, 
either at five o'clock or maybe we'd take a break a little earlier and, and have that snack. And then Eric would usually cook dinner for us, for everyone, for himself and us at about eight, eight thirty, something like that is when he would usually serve it. So we get to eat his cooking and uh, we liked some of the things more than others. They were very high fiber, I'll say that. Uh, they're very high fiber. Eric was a good cook, though. He was very, very versatile at the... I mean, he has to be, you know. He would, he would have a lot of ingredients that needed to get used, so he would kind of throw together different sorts of stews and soups and different recipes with stocks and things like that. So I'm trying to rotate to stay out of the sun here. We also went on a walk, a pretty long day hike, with him and one of his friends named Val, who was very friendly. All these flies, you'd think there'd be lots of fish eating them. We were there for about nine days, I believe, nine or ten days in total. And then we said our goodbyes and we left to come here to Ponferrada. Well, I think that's about all I have to say about the work away. Uh, here in Ponferrada, aside from visiting this Knights of Templar, castle we haven't done too much except cook with chorizo we've been cooking a lot with spanish chorizo but to my surprise spanish chorizo is actually quite different from the mexican chorizo that i'm used to working with so i have spent a lot of time looking at recipes and a very little bit <laughs> proportionately little time um cooking them but i have made some sort of rice dish i tried some queso fundido thing that turned out kind of disastrously. Uh, made some omelets. <clears throat> Planning to make some pasta. So the culinary adventures continue. When our booking of our Airbnb ends on the 8th, we will be leaving to Salamanca. Thank you. We're going to Salamanca where we will be trying world-famous Salamanca ham. And um, that's probably when you'll hear from me next. So. It's time to come pray. This I really want to play that back and see how many chimes that was. <laughs> 